comes to security in the Oracle database, the database treats every single object, each table, etc., as its own entity. Yes, that's a data modeling pun for you. But the treatment of each object in its own right also includes its access privileges. And what that means is, is that for every single object in the database, it has its own set of privileges to whoever needs to be able to see it. Let's look at an example here. So if I do a query here from DBA tables for the HR schema, we can see that there are actually seven objects in the HR schema. And each individual object has its own privileges that could be granted to other people. But if I'm a developer, developers often don't think in terms of security in the same way. And it's the same with DBAs. We often view the schema as perhaps the uh, broader sense of security access. A developer typically will say, I need access to the HR schema, not each individual object within it. And as a DBA, that means it can be a little bit of a time-consuming task. When developer Jane Doe comes to the DBA and says, I need access to the HR schema because I'm doing some work for the HR system, as a DBA, what that means is laboriously going in and doing a grant on countries to Jane Doe, doing a grant on regions to Jane Doe, doing a grant on locations to Jane Doe, and then departments and jobs, etc., etc., etc. We either have to do it manually like this, or we would write a little PLC routine to loop through each individual object in the HR schema to do those grants. That's a bit of a nuisance. Sometimes as DBAs, we just get frustrated and we think we just want to keep things simple. So rather than doing individual grants on each object in that schema, we go, whatever, let's just do select any table to that developer. Now, that avoids the hassles of all those grant scripts, but it obviously opens up a much greater security risk because select any table is not just the HR schema, it's anything in your system, including perhaps sensitive tables in other schemas. So select any table is not something you want to be giving to people, but often it happens because we simply get frustrated with the current limitations. In Oracle 23C, we can now have a nice middle ground between those two things. I can do grant select any table, but then say it's on a particular schema. So in this case, on the HR schema, gives to Jane Doe. And so now Jane has select access on every single table or every single thing that can be selected from, views, sequences, etc., but only in the HR schema. No more lengthy sets of grant scripts that you have to run. The other advantage of this schema level privilege is that it's now future-proof. If I was writing a routine that went through and looped through every single object and gave Jane Doe a grant on them in the HR schema, then yes, that's fine, but the moment someone goes and creates a new table in the HR system, then Jane Doe needs to have those grants rerun. In this case, I can go ahead and I can create a new table in my HR schema, just a select star from scott.emp. Now, when I connect as Jane Doe, even though she was never granted that table explicitly, she can query it because she was given that overriding select any table on just the HR schema objects. So it's not just a initial set of grants, it actually is future-proof as well and at the schema level.